my name is Fanny and welcome to my closet. We are in your closet today. We are in my closet today. I'm so happy to have you here. And it's crazy because it hasn't been a closet for a very long time. No, it was this summer. Yeah, it used to be this uh, room where we just kept crap, mm -hmm. the crap room of the apartment. Um, we had uh, we had this desk actually. Yeah, but it was your supposed to be office, yeah. right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. I had this day bed which my boyfriend hated but i loved it that's a side story yeah or that's a, that's a story that needs an own we almost broke up over a day bed mm -hmm. but we made it through yes um Luckily. yeah so this desk was here i do have a chair here but i removed it for today um yeah so we turned it into a closet this summer and uh, I think it turned out great. It looks amazing. Thank you. The curtains are extremely green. Um, they were not supposed to be this green. I bought them online. <laughs> uh, and they were more like, you know, um, a, a bit darker green. Like there was ah. more black into this green. Uh, but of course, since it's velvet, it's very like light reflecting. Mm -hmm. Because um, they look more dark there than there. Yeah, yeah. Than they're, because of the light. Yeah. yeah. They're grass green. Yeah. Like, Really crazy green, like spring grass green. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll see if we keep them. But uh, right now, I think they are great. And I, I think, love them. I, I think, think they look them. really good with this mirror. Yeah, with yeah. red and also the pink yeah. that your desk yeah. is. No, I, I like it. Very creative. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I can imagine it's amazing to sit by the desk and writing articles for half hour. No, it is. Yeah. It is very Carrie Bradshaw. Yeah, very sex in the city. So, where should we start? I don't know. Where do you want to start? Favorite piece, like we start big. Ever. Like yes. Ever, ever. Uh, ever, ever, ever. Oh, that's hard. Um, but I have this piece, and I think you know which one I'm going to talk about. Uh, that I, I hope I know. Yeah, that I, I got I this summer. You. And I wore it for my birthday. Okay, I'm going to show it. Yep, you have to. It matches the curtains. Ooh, it's la la. So heavy. Yeah, it looks heavy. Yeah. And you're not supposed to hang it. No, I was no, just but, about to say that. But I have hung it just because I wanted to talk about it. Yeah. Um, Otherwise you fold it, right? Yes, mm. I fold it since it's knitted, if mm -hmm. you don't. I can't see it. So it's by this Australian designer, Christopher Esper. Mm, I know I know him. Yeah. I, w I was about to say, but I know that you've written an article about him. Yeah. And your love for his design on Hobnob. You have to yeah. read it if you have it read it yet. So this dress, uh, I got it on sale because it was very expensive. I got it at 50%, um, which was, it was still expensive. Yeah. But you should have seen mine and Fanny's conversation about yeah. this one. Fanny wrote, I think, 100 yeah. hundreds of messages about this dress. Yeah, like, should I get hour. it? Should I get it? Yeah. Should I not get it? I mean, should I wait to see if the discounts, like, drops yeah. a bit like you want to do you want to do a bargain but then it always gets sold out and you regret it for yeah. the rest, rest of your life yeah and there were only like two sizes left it was mm -hmm. this extra small and a medium and i knew that i could not do medium so i just had to buy it mm. uh, and i am so happy that that i did because only does it not look amazing as a dress but I, I love to tell this story to people. <laughs> but you can, with the buttons, it's so good and you can just be so creative with it because you can do slits, of course, here. You never wore, uh, worn it with slits yet. Yeah, I did. When? Yeah, during, on my birthday. Oh, you not, did? A, not a full slit, but no? I did like a half slit. Ah. And then you can unbutton the arms. So you can do it like a sleeveless dress. Mm -hmm. That's so nice. Which I did uh, in Italy when I oh, wore yeah, it. Oh yeah, you did. Yeah. And you can also just keep it like this. I think it looks super great with just a shoulder drop. With the details when yeah. you open it. Yeah. And also you can unbutton this little top and do it as a skirt. Or as a top. Or as a top. I love this detail. Yeah. It's, it's 
to just That's keep right. it more yeah. um, higher hem. Oh yeah, and higher waist. Or if you want to, you can just do a drop waist. This is my all-time favorite piece, and I think I will wear it forever. The knitting, the pattern, the colors, they're just so... Didn't we see it in another color yeah. combination? It came in white, white, and white. No, no, white and red. Mm. And it was so good. That is so good too. I mean, oh wow. Ooh, it got slippy. this uh, old Celine something about it. Oh yeah. Um, but still in a very like updated, um, updated version. Yeah, I love it. Amazing. So yeah, that was the dress. Like that was my favorite dress. Number favorite one piece. Yes. But tell me, wait, where do you get inspiration from when you dress? If you have like a cri morning crisis and you have yeah. to be at work in twenty minutes, how do you think? Mm. What do you do? I do a suit. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I always feel super confident, super cool, uh, just very me, and still dressed up, but still very relaxed in a suit. Yeah. Uh, and like the summer, one you're wearing. Yeah, like this one. Uh, I think it's just so cool. Mm -hmm. And you can do it with uh, a shirt or a t-shirt or a polo turtleneck yeah, or a polo shirt with the mm -hmm. big buttons. That is also super chic. And you, you, I know, you can wear what shoes ever you like. I mean. Mm -hmm. Flip flops, great. Boots, great. Heels, awesome. Yeah. Sneakers. Sneakers perfect. also. Yeah. A, a suit is just the perfect, the perfect outfit. I love shopping vintage suits. Yeah. And I'm very good to take them to my tailor. Yeah. And, and you, he, you read doing them by yourself too. If it's yeah. not too hard. Yeah. If You're I'm very not good at that. too stressed. Yeah. yeah. So I just, I love buying these oversized men's suits, like this one. Yeah, you have to show me. Here it is. Oh yeah, one I of know. my favorites. It's quite wrinkly now, I should have thought about that. But this is... Uh, what to do. Yeah, this is a very yuppie suit, <laughs> I think. Yeah. So the blazer is very oversized. It's so nice to wear double blazers, I think, like you yes, do now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can just... Yeah, and not do exactly. it like this if you yeah. want to. This was, enough. This, was, this was a good outfit. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. And also nice to wear the pants. Mm. Like change the... So yeah. it doesn't get too light. Also cool with the... For sure. Contrast. Very cool. No, very so chocolate, like... Yeah. Yeah, this was very nice. No, so I just redo the trousers and keep the yeah. blazers very oversized. Mm. And I still get the silhouette that I aim for. So that is my greatest tip. I mean, I never buy vintage suits over three thirty dollars. No, thirty euros. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I keep it around that. You have a pretty good collection. Yeah, I, I do. I do. Unfortunately, they, they take up so much space in my I closet. Know. So, great suit. Great suits. What comes with a great suit, in your opinion? If you like the ultimate outfit. Yeah, I know. If this was a Sex in the City. Episode, I'd yeah. say an investment banker. <laughs> but I am an independent lady. But and I've already taken. This is a very Miranda yeah. outfit. Yeah. I would say. Like season two, three. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do one of my craziest ones. Yeah? Okay, they I mean no no oh my god, uh, you're really pulling out the craziest ones. Yeah. <laughs> You haven't worn these ones in a very while. No, but I'm, I mean, I'm gonna say this about these shirts. Uh, they're 70s shirts with giant collars. And they are so warm. Uh, I mean, breathing? it's, no, or? it's 100% polyester. Oh yeah. I mean, everything was not better before. <laughs> Today we are a bit more uh, aware of the materials we use. I mean, these are good in many ways. They dry very easily after yeah, washing. <laughs> but you feel sweaty like this and you mm. smell like horse shit. So, but these are my favorite. That's so true. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I collect these. Uh, I started out about three years ago, I think. Mm. I think the best I have found in Paris Oh yeah. Yeah, in the vintage store called Kilo, Kilo Shop. Shop. Yeah. yeah. I remember. In Marais, they have an entire section with only these mm. shirts with giant collars. Uh, and I buy I think they cost like 
15, euros. 15 oh. euros or something. Yeah. No, this, this is, is amazing. Region, but this is the crazy. You have one. to wear this one more often. I know. It's so cool. This is so crazy. Because it's wide. Yeah, and, and long. Yeah. <laughs> you <poop laughs> <in your laughs> <Yes>. eyes. <laughs> no, but the only thing, I mean, I prefer them to be slightly bigger yeah uh, because I, I want them to be oversized I don't want them to be like figure hugging mm. um, and this is actually quite um, figure <laughs> fitted yeah uh, but these are just amazing this is one of my latest ones yeah, where, got, where did you get it I got it at um, beyond retro in Stockholm mm? actually they're a bit more expensive there but still a very good price oh yeah I was yeah. with you when yeah, you, you bought it with me yeah. exactly so I love wearing them um, with suits of course I mean this looks so cool with this suit yeah, with this one yeah mm -hmm. and also this one yeah the green one yeah also ah, this is nice like I love this yeah I mean I feel like um, gold gold finger with mini me yeah? Yeah. Oh! Austin Powers! Yes, Austin Powers. <laughs> I am Austin Powers. So Austin Powers is my Then you need platforms animal. too. Yeah, I know. Yes. Oh, I should have your Gucci. Oh, yes. Yeah. But you know, I have these. Yeah. These are your signature shoes. Yes. Or your old signature shoes. I don't know. Yeah. But they, no. these ones feel so you. Mm. Yeah. Like in Miami or vacation funny. Yeah. And they, mm. I mean, they go so well with the suit. Yeah. Amazing with this one. I know. And with... One of these ones. Yeah, this is actually I love these. Um, they're Prada, and I got them on Bestia Collective. Mm -hmm. uh, and these were when um, my grandfather passed away three years ago. And for my for the last birthday, he was like with us. Mm -hmm. He he gave me money and asked me to buy me, myself something that I really 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 wanted. Ooh, so I got yeah. these. Uh, and I had been looking for them, um, looking at them in stores, oh, wow. uh, but I couldn't afford them, uh, and so I found them, and I knew that I had to get them, and so I did. So now I think of him every time I wear them. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah, yeah, they are amazing. Yeah, and goes super good with all my shirts. Yeah, and suits. And suits. Yeah, and dresses. And dresses. Okay, speaking of shoes. Yes. I know that you are as shoe addicted as I am, uh, or we are in this shoe addicted team together, I think. Ah! Uh, I know. <laughs> and I, by some reason, yeah. know that you have done a very dreamy purchase mm. lately. Can you please show me? You know, I haven't even packed them out of the box. So let's do an unboxing. Oh, wow. Shall we? Yeah? I thought you'd never ever. Let's do it. Okay, so I see you know, the box. When you say that you are not going to buy more shoes, and then you find them, like the ones you have been looking for, it's, it's when you like meet a new boyfriend. You know, yeah. you say that, okay, I'm done with love, and then there he is. That, there. That's what it was like for me. Um, Wait, who did you say goodbye to before these ones? <laughs> the shoes? Yeah. No, I just said that, okay, now I have enough shoes. Mm -hmm. And then you sent me a photo of these beauties and said that, okay. Because Sonny was sick this week. Yeah. So I, I had... Not, not Corona though. No. It was only a cold. Yeah. Like the one you get from when you've been overworking. Exactly. So I went browsing on town. Exactly. In town and by accident stepped into Prada. Yeah. Also known as Mecca. For shoes and everything. For shoes and everything, yeah. And we've been talking, of course, about these shoes mm. and sending pictures to each other mm. on other people we feel very inspired by. Yeah. Wearing these shoes and said, okay, one day we have to have them. Mm. And they're super hard to, to find. To they find. are sold out everywhere. Everywhere. The people who work in the Prada store in Stockholm are so, so sweet. Shout out to them. And they browsed them down. For us. Yes, in men's size actually. Yeah. Because women's size are sold out everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Please show me. I haven't seen them either. So. <laughs> oh my god. They look huge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the babies. Yeah. I mean, these are. Oh my god. You have to put them on. I know. Not maybe not now, but to that suit when you're going to have a glass of wine later. I mean, mm -hmm. 
They are so Amazing. good with suits, and so good with socks, and so good with jeans, and just... Hello, heaven. Credit card limit. <laughs> Hello. And I'm like, ah. So, so these are amazing, and I'm so happy that you got them for me. Yes. And for yourself. So just call me <laughs> whenever you want a piece of Prada, <laughs> and I'll fix it for you. Okay, so now that you're here, Ooh, we have, have some more surprises for me. And we talk about Prada. Mm -hmm. I just have to show you my first Prada purchase ever. Ooh, we often talk about our favorite brands and what mm. we get so inspired of. Mm. And you always keep coming back to Prada. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Prada to me is like, it's more an entire aesthetic. Yeah. More than a designer and a brand. And yeah. I mean, I think the, the whole philosophy about Prada really just talks to me. Mm. I always feel so smart and sweet and cute and still very like edgy in mm. Prada. And I love patterns, I love colors, but I still like it to be quite bold in cuts, mm. but not too and crazy. And fabrics too. Yeah, but you know, they always do this silk, like yeah. hard silk, which is just amazing. Like a see-through orange dress I have, organza dress with oh, yeah. a big bow. Mm, yeah. That's a really good one. That's yeah. a good example too. Like the feminine with a big bow, but it's like very straight mm. and the fabric is pretty see-through. Mm. And yeah, yeah. It's amazing. moving on to, yeah. so, to your first product purchase. Yeah, so this bag is from I think it's from the spring summer collection 2015 or 2016. Mm. I think 2016. I love this print so much. Mm. It also it's came so in a yellow. Um, and then it came in a blue and a green with tiny sombreros. Yeah, sombreros. And cactuses. And the sausages, right? And hot dogs. And maybe. I think hot dogs. Yeah, maybe. And palm trees as you have here. Yeah. So this is the tipi. Tipi bag. I saw this in the window in the Prada store in Stockholm and I knew that I could not afford it so I just kept on walking and then I think cried I a bit cried a bit I really just um, kept an eye yeah I kept it in my in the back of my head mm -hmm. uh, and then two years ago I just hmm that bag I should have gotten it and then I remember yeah I had no money to get it so I shouldn't have gotten it uh, <laughs> like you always do. Oh, why didn't I get that? Oh, oh yeah, yes. I was broke. That's why. Already before it. <laughs> so I started browsing, you know, Vestiaire. I started browsing the Real Real, eBay, and then all of a sudden there it was on eBay, right? On eBay, and I just had to get it. Mm. So I got it, and I was so happy. And then I got it home, and I was just over the moon mm. excited. And then the towel bill came. Ah, yeah, and oh it was no. almost as much as the bag. Uh, <laughs> That's the bad thing when when shopping from eBay. Yeah, and this was from the United States. Yeah, that was quite bad. But you know, I have I've just had the mindset that okay, then I just have to use this use it twice as much. Yeah, and you have. Yeah, and I for have. For sure. And I always say to you that it's so great because my computer fits into yeah. it, and you can open it here. Oh now God. I'm selling it this again. So I have so much. But you have already it. sold it to me, so yeah, I know. I am on a constant hunt for this one too. But yeah. I think in the the blue one with the Mexican yeah. hats. It's so cool. So I'm I never regretted it. Mm -hmm. I think it's so fun. It's so cute. It's so cool. Perfect traveling bag too. Perfect traveling bag. Perfect beach bag. Yeah. Yeah. It fits so much that you don't really know. Yes. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yep. I have to tell you. Yeah the most weird thing I think you have in your closet. Almost oh, really? weird, weird thing, but like... Strange. Conversation starter, yeah. I it, would must say. Or as you say when you're like super polite, oh, interesting. I have a friend that who... Was interesting. ...is not <laughs> so into fashion. She's from my hometown. She's like, oh, you're looking very fun today. <laughs> like you. just don't comment on it, all right? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay, yeah. are you ready? Yeah, I think so. Do you like this? Um, yeah, okay, I do like this. Ta-da! Really? Yeah! Oh, but I guess they're quite strange. They're so fast. Yeah, I know. And they're like, if you come too close, I will point you. Yeah. Yeah, they're uh -huh. they're not good for hugging. They're very good for social distancing. Yeah. Like, you look quite mad. 
Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but also very cool. But we and we have a very strong, how do you say, eyebrows. eyebrows. Yeah. So they are like even more. Yeah. Yeah, I know when people. But when people see me wear them, they always like, oh, but it's only you who fit into those kinds of glasses. And I'm like, no, I mean, they don't fit me. No. I mean, they don't true. fit anyone. They're just yeah, as I, they are. Yeah, I just have, have to... I just have this mindset that I don't need to look, I don't need to look cute and everything. You have I just, to show them yeah. how you look. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't need to look good. No, I just this, need to feel cool. But they are so when you because you have curly hair, you yeah. look very sweet, and then you come in your super cool suit and yeah. with these glasses, it's like the perfect match. Yeah. I think yeah, maybe. But the funniest thing is your boyfriend. He thinks those are the weirdest. Too. Yeah, but he also loves wearing them. I yeah, mean, if we somehow. go out to have like after dinner drinks or mm -hmm. you know after work drinks, and I wear them, he always wants to wear them. Yeah. But if you had to choose your weirdest or <laughs> conversation starter, yeah, yeah, let's let's call them conversation starters. Yeah, that's nicer. <laughs> One of my newest things in my closet. Ooh, Evan. even more new than the Prada shoes. No, same level. Yeah, same level. Oh my god. So, guess what this is? A cake. Maybe. Also, <laughs> but most of all, it's a hat. I think it's the best hat I ever seen. I would love to see your mother-in-law's reaction when she sees you oh, in this yeah. one. No, she hates my clothes. Yeah. Oh yeah, my, but my also my entire boyfriend's family hates my clothes. They always make fun of me. I'm so used to it now. But it's uh, fun. No, but it's fun. Yeah, and yeah. it's I mean they do it with love, of course. Uh, but my father-in-law always like if we meet new people and he wants to just describe me. He's like, oh yeah, the first time I met Fanny, she was wearing two shirts at the same time. One yes. on backwards and one on in a regular way. And the sleeves were, were like half a meter too long. So they just, she went around like this. And I'm like, well, yeah, I guess I wore that. It's called fashion, <laughs> Brenda. It's called Look fashion. It no, I felt awesome. I mean, I dipped my sleeves in the food, but it was totally worth it. And he still talks about it. He still talks about it. That was yeah. five years ago. Exactly. Yeah. Now you're stepping up with the with this. <laughs> no, but yeah. I love it. I was actually supposed to have it for vacation, but it got lost in the mail. Oh yeah. Uh, it's and by also this. Also due to Corona. Yeah. It's also it's made by this amazing hat designer mm. called um, Marianne Kehani. Uh, you must look her up. Yeah, it's uh, her hats are. But we can link her down yeah. in the yeah, bio. Let's do it. Say so. Yeah. Yeah. Her Instagram page is one of my favorite, uh, and she does these to... amazing pieces. This also comes in black, actually. Wow. Yeah. Ooh, we should have matching ones. I know. Imagine coming the streets of Paris or in, or New York. I know. In these ones. Totally. Yeah, that, I have that, to that try. That happen. Yeah, please do. It's like even bigger than my dress. Yeah. Now with your dress. That looks. I look just like a dessert. Out of this world, yeah. 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 You know, the, like these giant cupcakes, and this is the icing, yeah. and this is the yeah like body. Oh yeah, you look like a princess cake with a marzipan. Um... Oh yeah, the Swedish one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this one. Yeah. Is a piece. Yeah. But I feel like I you have. You should have to... this one on your wedding. Yeah, I know. She yeah. actually has a wedding collection. Ooh! Yes. So I was supposed to do a hat for my wedding, but it's being postponed until mm. next summer, I think. But I would definitely do a weird, weird, strange, fun, fun hat. Not weird. On my wedding. Yes. Yeah. It's so you. It's so me. Yeah. And I think it would be just, yeah, a conversation starter. If I would need one on my own wedding. I don't think so. So yeah, yes to hats. Yes to hats. Your wedding. I can yes. also imagine. You can or wear this. I can have this one, of course. Don't steal my spotlight though. No. <laughs> Maybe I should. Then you have to have like yeah, a bigger You one. can have the <laughs> entire cake on your head. <laughs> yeah. Now we're talking. Yeah, that's a, that's a weird ass look. Yeah, that's next level shit. Sitting. In a cafe like this, yeah. people will think we've lost it. Wasn't that Linnea Klund? Yeah, she has totally lost it. Oh my god, have you seen her lately? She's <laughs> having those weird hats and those ugly glasses. Ugly glasses! <laughs> what? Hat. 
Hat you go off. And now coat. Ooh, yes. Yes. As it's coat season. Yes. And you are a thief to find coats. Yes. You are really, really great. I mean, it's a total addiction. I should get help yeah. for this. But please tell me about this one because no, but this is the most amazing one. I, I, if you hold this, I will hold it. I'm actually gonna get. Ooh, it's heavy. You have two same. Yes. Of the or the same vintage coat I have, in different colors. Yeah, oh I think, my god. So this is the craziest story. Um, I think it was like three weeks ago. Yeah. I walked into this charity shop uh, down on my block, and I just saw this amazing red coat this one and I was like well I never wear red and I ha never have and you always say red isn't my color yeah but then I try it on and it's just like this is my fit like for real yeah this is my favorite fit it has these super I wide shoulders it has these buttons here in the middle and the arms are wide. I love wide arms because I always wear these super chunky knits. Yeah. And I hate when you feel like a stuffed sausage. <laughs> uh, I know the feeling. <laughs> so I put it on and it was just so amazing. And oh I my thought God. to myself, wow, if, if this was in beige or in black, that would be just the ultimate coat. So I buy it, I wear it the same day and I feel so pretty. Yeah. Cut two. Three weeks later, I walk into the same charity shop and in the middle of a rack with only like fur coats, I see a beige coat. I pull it out and my God, it's, it's the, the same. same coat. Exactly. What are the, the same coat? No, I mean, I need to see myself on this one. Oh my God, it's amazing. I know. Wow. I know. Wow. And you feel so cool with the pleats here yeah. and this color so it's exactly Must be from the same lady i think so yeah yeah and it's exactly the same size the same cut the same everything uh, and it's by valentino yeah uh, so the design is of course flawless i i so want to know who owned yeah, I number know, four i know yeah. she must have been so cool yeah yeah and now you are the new cool i know so, uh, she has passed them on to me I don't know her, but thank you. Oh, they are amazing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is your full uniform. Yeah. But to wrap it up, you have to tell me about this far, mm -hmm. 2020's best bargain. Because I know... I mean, besides from these coats. Yeah. I think it would be this one. Ooh. Yeah. It's uh, by Cicely Bunsen. And it's mm -hmm. a design collaboration between her and uh, Sophie Bille Brahe. Ah, is it that co uh, collaboration? Yeah. Wow. Uh, sorry, all Danish uh, yes. wa wa listeners watchers. and watchers uh, for my very poor Danish. But it has these florals embroidered on. Looks like mini roses. Mini roses. Yeah. And it has this iconic Silvansen back. Back, which you tie up. Yeah, you got it as a crazy good bargain, I remember. Yeah. So uh, I, I had this mission this summer, or, you know, mission mm -hmm. and mission. Uh, but I really wanted to do a sale catch that was by Cecily Bunsen. Mm. And I just managed to find this one on net at 80% off. It's crazy. It's not even... How can you do that? I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. So I was so happy. Yay! And I've worn it so many times. Yeah, and, I, and it's amazing. I will probably wear it for so many years to come. So many more summers. Yeah. And falls. And the spirits. perfect piece that just fits all occasions. All year round. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Fanny. Thank you so much, Nick. For having Hobnob us in your apartment. Well. In your closet. Come back soon, please. I have so much more to talk about. We have so much to talk about. I know. We can do a follow-up. I mean, we can do... You can come here again. And you can come to my place. Exactly. And we can talk about... More stuff. More clips. <laughs> More great bargains, more yeah. tips, more styling. More. Exactly. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for watching. And see you very soon again. And don't forget to subscribe. Hello. Au revoir.